Howdy! Welcome back, my name's Alarian, and uh, we're back in Nomeria. Or, uh, Nomoria, wow. Nomeria? Eh, I don't know. It's like Gnome, Moria, the mines thereof. Uh, when I said that the game was actually under active development, I, 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 I was under active development, uh, I wasn't kidding. They actually released a new patch since last episode. So we will uh, we'll see what's uh, what's new in that. I think it's mostly some cosmetic stuff. Some of the uh, mining uh, designation is supposed to be a little bit more obvious, I guess. We'll see. So, time to recap. We had last episode finished designating a dormitory with 12 beds, a dining room, and decided that I wanted to start cleaning up some of my farm uh, production, get that optimized. I think setting up a kitchen and a brewery and a tailor are definitely in order. We're going to try to make this episode shorter than last time, like I said. So, yeah. First things first, I'm going to designate this entire area for uh, tree planting. And, whoops, agriculture. Plant trees. And we're only going to plant apple trees, but we went and picked a lot of apple saplings. We've got 200 of them, so hopefully we'll be able to get a couple trees out of this. Uh, they don't have a 100% success rate when doing this, so that's why. But we're going to start there. And I'm just going to make... That. And so that's a lot of apple saplings. And there's some strawberry bushes in here. Whatever. The next time we do our big harvest, we will pick all of those. And the next time, you know, we plant some more saplings, it'll get bigger. So that'll be fine. We don't need to pick anything right now. We've got plenty of food on hand from when we picked all the saplings for those trees. The other thing that I said I wanted to do was start walling off this area. I don't know really how much I need to worry about it, but I've played a lot of Dwarf Fortress, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to learn from some of my mistakes there. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is completely seal off, like, access from this direction. This is a good place, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig, or remove ramps, and I'm just going to remove like all of the ramps in this section. And that'll just flatten that out and prevent people and goblins and whatever from being able to walk up and down this area. And then we'll build a wall across. Uh, eventually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Maybe what we do is uh, we cut off access from over here too. And so while they can be up this hill, they can't walk down the hill easily. So I'm going to do that there, and I'm also going to remove dig, remove ramps like here and there, and then we'll build a wall there and a wall there, and we'll see how that works. So these guys are juggling seeds. We currently have pretty much everything. The wheat farm here, we only embark with 32 wheat seeds, so the only way to get more is to be patient about it. So we will let that continue. Let's see. These are these are going under production. Uh, one of the things that I need to do is I need to make another workshop. And we are going to make a tailor, which is the other cloth shop. So we will set this tailor up right there. And I'm going to turn a bunch of this cloth into bags to help clean up some of this inventory and some other things like that. So we'll let that get going. Let's see here. Miner's going. I don't see any difference to the mining designation so far. Maybe... I don't know. We'll see. Either way, it's not... It's not bad. I know what's happening here. So that's 
That's going well. And see, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to rotate the camera. Ah, now I'm lost. And rotate the camera again and again. Where am I? Here I am. Yeah, so you can see that there's no longer a path up. It's just a straight, straight thing there. So I'm going to now tell them to build terrain. No, it's it's build. Yeah, build terrain. Not terrain, build. Build terrain. And I'm going to build a wall. And we're going to use the dirt to do this. And we're going to just dig that over to there for now. And we'll see how this works. And let's get the camera back to the angle that I'm accustomed to. In Dwarf Fortress, their pathing for doing these things is a little bit smarter, but it's still kind of dumb. This one, I've had trouble trying to build outdoor constructions like this, so we'll, we'll see how bad it is. But they're taking the dirt and, hey, reusing some of that that we dug up. Looks like somebody's finally setting that up. That's good. Let's go downstairs. The other thing that I want to do is I want to get digging. So let's go ahead and... Mine that wall out, and I think I'm going to put staircase down uh, here. One of the things that I want to do, I like having the grid on. I don't remember if the grid was always on previously, but I do really enjoy having the grid. Maybe it's something that used to be, or used to not be a default, but is now. All right, digging stairs down. Rotate, rotate, tick, 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 and we'll see if there's anything interesting down there. Back upstairs, still working on that, still need several planks. How much? We're going to have to cut some wood. We're actually running low on lumber, so all of these trees are going to come down, I think. So that's fine. I kind of want to get this up. Okay, let's let's speed up. Slow gnomes walking in circles because I've told them so many different things to do. Oh, see the big tree planting project? That's really taking a lot of people's uh, ability to pay attention. They're walking all the way over here, picking up the sapling. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. You don't. Okay, thank you. Client hung for a second there. And they're going all the way over there to set those up. So that's going to be a little slow. So if I tell it to cut down the trees, and I'm just going to cut these trees, all of them right there. I don't know how responsive people are going to be, but hey, look, we've got some some of this wall going in here so that's nice again don't know if there's any real benefit to it or not but it'll at least make me feel more secure until we can give everybody swords and let them run around and be ready to hack stuff up so okay that's working pretty well this is still going come on Man, I wish there was a better status indicator. I can see what's there, but I can't see how far along this, this build task is. I just know that there are two oak planks lying there. Maybe they've already consumed the stone component, and maybe they haven't. I don't know. But we'll let it do its thing. So they're doing that. There's plenty of jobs for people upstairs to do. Let's go back downstairs. That's still going. How much stone do we have? We might be running out of raw stone. Let's see here. Stocks. Stockpiles. And you can see, and that's one reason it's nice to name your stockpiles, because you can actually see them in the list. But let's go ahead and just take a look at goods stone. And we are down to, yeah, not very much stone. So we will want to accumulate more. Oh, look. Downstairs is more of the serpentine stuff. 
I think I'm going to do just sort of a spirally staircase down, because why not? And dig mine dig stairs down rotate there we go so we'll do this sort of thing ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk big spiral staircase down I'm trying to just see if we can get to a different kind of stone I'm gonna pause here for some of this See, that's coal right there. I want to dig basically just until I... Maybe we're at minus 8, so we'll maybe go down to minus 10 and do some exploratory mining from there. Dig. Stairs down. Rotate. Let's let that go. So I really want to get more tools for these guys. We're halfway through the spring. We go down here and we can mine wall, designate this one as well, and dig. I wish these were just in the same category, but whatever. So that'll be floor 10. So we're going to get our do 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 Nice little spiral staircase down here. Let's see if there's anything interesting down here. We're still digging serpentine. So once that's done, go ahead and... On Dwarf Fortress, I would be a little bit more... I don't know, careful might be the right word for how how I make my tunnels. But I don't know about on here being able to designate with a mouse seems to be reasonable. But we'll go ahead and lay it out on a grid anyways. Wait, that's not it. Let's see, what kind of grid should I take this on? So we did one, two, three right there. So let's do hmm. La, give me a minute to think about this. I'm going to pause for a second and try to figure out what I want to do here. Okay, so we're back after a little bit of deliberation on my part, and I've decided to go ahead and use this pattern for my exploratory mining. And uh, leave enough room to put a 5x5 five five room inside of the grid. So this is a 7x7, seven seven, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 7x7. Seven mining pattern, which is very, very similar to the pattern that I use in Dwarf Fortress. And I like leaving these designated here. It just helps me see a little bit better. So, we're going to see if we find anything. We'll leave these guys down here to dig. This, this I made a 4x4 four four grid of this to let them do their thing on. I think down here on one of these floors I'm going to do some beds and set up some bedrooms. That's going to be one of our next priorities. But our first priority after we go upstairs and check on the status of some of the agriculture. Okay, all those trees are chopped down, so that's a good sign. Uh, that wall is built. Still tons of these apple trees to be planted. That's going to be going for a long time. So it's a good, good thing that we got that set up early because they've still got all of this to go through. And, of course, it's midnight again on day five. So they're going to go to sleep. 
but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to designate the wall here, another dirt wall, like that, and have that just seal off that little access point, if that matters at all. The other thing that we need to do here, ah, oh, phooey, I shouldn't have set the uh, exploratory mining up just yet, because I need to dig some, well, we'll see if it works. I need to dig some food production facilities, and I'm going to put them over here. So we're going to put food production. Wait a minute. No, we already set up. These, these were food piles, weren't they? This is... Yeah, okay, this is a food pile. And so this is probably the drink pile. Yep, that's a drink pile. Okay. So we already set those up. They're not using them yet because they're not really producing a lot of food and needing to do that. So... So the kitchen, unlike in Dwarf Fortress, you can't just cook everything. There are very few things you can do with the kitchen right now. Mostly you can use the kitchen to make bread and turn that bread into sandwiches. But we're under 100 drinks, which is kind of a, I don't know, a threshold. I think what I'm going to try to maintain is something like 20 drinks and 10 food per uh, unit of population maybe. So currently we want to have these numbers basically backwards from where they are, which is fine because when I start processing all of these apples into drinks, it's going to be a one-to-one -one conversion. But we need to make some food production. And the first thing I need to make is go ahead and set up those two rooms. So this will be the kitchen and the brewery right there, and they'll just be able to do their thing. Uh, we also need to request a table, because one of the requirements to build a kitchen is actually a table. And let's go up to the... We should have extra... We do have some extra barrels. I'll go ahead and request another four barrels. That should hopefully be enough to maintain this. But that, that little floor thing is going good. You'll notice if you look really closely that there's a little bit of a lip, this green Minecraft dirt thing, over where this is designated. It'll probably be more obvious once this happens. But there's wall here but no floor. So I'm actually going to also... To, to make this walkable, I believe we need to... See, watch. I'm going to try to build a wall here. And it's not going to let me actually build wall on there. It'll let me build wall there and there. But you see that little gap between the red and the gray? That's because, for whatever reason, you can't walk there. There's no floor. So we will build a floor. And we'll... No, we won't cover the... Ooh, we could cover the entire area. That would be interesting. But we'll go ahead and designate just some floor there. And eventually, people will go up and make that walkable. And then we can go through and go through the hard... Ooh, is he... No, he, he is actually walking up top. And this will eventually grass over. Okay, back downstairs. Is that working still? Okay, back downstairs. Is this... Still not dug yet because the miners are doing the exploratory thing. One of the things that I like about doing mining on a grid is I can quickly sever the links to the new sections and pause the, uh, the exploratory mining tasks. So they're going to go through and churn through this a little bit. Daylight. And there we go. Now they're going to go back upstairs. Well, bam, because dirt digs fast. And these guys are starting to get pretty decent at uh, their job. So let's build a workshop. Food and drink. We're going to build 
We, we, we don't have anything to butcher yet, so we're going to build a, a brewery, and it uses a barrel in addition. And, well, we happen to have barrels, so we're fine there. So we'll go ahead and put the brewery right there, over by the drink piles. And is this table done? See, this one still hasn't finished the table, but somebody's going to do it because it's green. So when that's done, we will be able to order that. How's this doing? Still going very slowly, but it'll eventually square off. Okay, some of this is, yep, they're doing okay with that. And they're doing okay with that. I think I will actually, hmm, I'm pretty sure these need sunlight. I'm just going to hazard the wild and crazy guess that I need. Oh, hey, look, wheat popping up, finally. So that'll be great. As soon as any agricultural gnomes, wheat is maximum priority. I don't know how priorities work, but priority up. Because wheat is slow, and we want to see some of these trees that we cut saplings off of are repopulating. They're getting their leaves all again at once. So that's good. We'll be able to use those again. Hopefully somebody will start working on that weed farm before too late. Let's see, do we have our... Yeah, our brewery's still going. It's going to be a while. All right. While I'm at it, I will go ahead and re-enable access to the mine. And this will just keep those people from being idle, because you don't want idlers. They're sleeping again, because these guys are such slackers, they have to sleep. First we teach them not to sleep on the bed, then they take advantage, or not to sleep on the floor too much, and then they take advantage of it. All right. That's still going. I mean, this guy's still going strong. Let's see what our stockpiles for some of these materials are. We have in, sorry, items, goods. Oh, we got a lot of dirt. We need, there needs to be something better to do with the dirt than just building these little dirt palisades. Um, don't have a lot of locks on hand. We really don't. Um, yeah, we're out of bread. And we don't have a lot of wood on hand. But that's okay. We have a lot of other things, and we are going to produce those as soon as some of these tasks are done. Is this guy almost done? Hey, that whole that whole little section and this whole section is just about done. We're going to finish building this in. Okay, that was a weird pathing little thing, but... Yeah, and see, yeah, they're still not coming over here, even though I've told them to prioritize it, because everybody has this crazy apple farm on the brain. I wish there was a way to set that task as minimum priority. So if I click on one of them, I can go, no, I can't even go to an individual task and designate it as low priority. So that's going to be gone for a while. And look, our other crops are all starting to, to sprout. Our cotton and our strawberries are all needing farming, too. And of course we still only have nine people. I never noticed how the newbies show up. Somebody's working on the brewery. We need to get that going. I think that's going to be our our goal for this is to have uh, to have some apple juice uh, under production. This is still going. Still haven't found anything but the serpentine rock. Wait, there we go. What is this? These are emeralds. Okay, well, something. I don't know. I mean, in Dwarf Fortress, I wow, that is taking him forever to dig that block. Just keep dig. Wow. And I don't think Tool actually has anything to do with it, but yep. 
and there's a there's an emerald and it's worth something but again there's not I don't know how dealing with merchants works maybe I I probably should look into that actually let's go ahead and go back up to the surface and just see build workshop miscellaneous market stall yes okay so we could build a market stall and that will allow us probably to trade with the neighbors uh, I don't know if I want to worry about that yet because I'm not exactly producing any surplus of trade goods so we won't worry about that yet is this going this isn't going yet Wait, is it? I'm forgetful. All right. So again with the sleeping, sleepy dwarves. Yeah, we're probably gonna want to. Huh? I must have misclicked that one. Oh well, whatever. Hopefully these guys. See if I if I look at one of these here, we can look at the individual skills. And she's got a mining skill of 31 now on her. She probably started with it at like 5. I don't know why hauling is a skill, but hey, maybe it increases your speed of hauling. Which is actually something that would be kind of nice to see in Dwarf Fortress. But they're going away. And if nothing else, this is going to make sure we have a lot of stone. Maybe the next floor that we dig out, we won't do quite so neatly. Still producing this. Blocks and planks and blocks and planks. I want to get... We're starting to run low on this and they're not... Up, 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 up. See, they're still not harvesting that. Man. And it's all because of trying to plant that large apple orchard so far away. Maybe I should have planted one closer. But that's where we are. I don't know why. Yeah, these guys are just... Maybe I do need to assign... Do we have anybody who's idle? We do have some idlers. Let's see. Status. Stocking. Great. They're showing the sleepers as idle. That's not really idle. They're doing something right. Well, kind of. They're being useless, but... Yeah, so only the one guy's doing that. Nobody's doing anything terrible. Their haulers are hauling. I guess we could turn off hauling. That's one thing that you'd learn in Dwarf Fortresses. Hey, there we go. Copper. Really, copper. Copper. Excellent. So we did find metal. That's good. So I'm going to let them go ahead and finish digging out some of this grid. Oh, and it's the haulers are hauling rocks. But yeah, like I said, one of the things that you learn in Dwarf Fortress is to stop your, uh, your important people from doing hauling tasks so they can stay on target. And right now, since I only have the one batch of people, I I really need them to be doing a lot of the hauling. I guess I could tell the miners that they're not allowed to haul stone. Um, I will eventually, and we will have just a class of people who's, whose job it is full-time to just move things from point A to point B, but we have not reached that point yet. All right. Back up. Yay, there we go. Distillery. Now, setting it to auto-brew is a little scary because you can run out. Um, I think, let's see how many items. Furniture? No, it's not furniture. It's a good, apparently. Barrel. I have eight barrels. Where are those barrels? Hey! I don't remember you being there. How are we seeing you? Oh, we dug into this and suddenly we got line of sight up. 
That's kind of cool. Let's see how far down that goes. That goes down a ways. We get to some different dirt. Some kind of sandstone. So we're probably, and there we go, it gets some hard, yeah, some granite. And it keeps going down, is that marble. And it keeps going down. Wow, this is, this is, this was a really big underground cave. That's down to 34. And we're there. Okay. But look, this is almost done. We're going to go ahead and let them do that. Once they're finished cleaning this out, I'm going to go and just designate for digging all of the surface visible veins here of metal. We're going to leave the gems in the wall right now because we don't have a lot of use for it just yet. But next time I think we're going to set up some metal industry. But anyways, like I was saying, drinks. Uh, see, the thing is if I just click one, that's only going to be one drink. So we really do need to put it on repeat, but we need to watch it. Um, and just make sure we don't go crazy with it. So we'll leave, we'll set that going and hopefully they will be able to pick up and get some, uh, some drinks processed. Let's see, how close is this? See, still nobody has dug this up yet. So that was, that was a major mistake to set the, uh, the tree planting at such high priority or so early on. I think that's the problem is once dwarves pick a job, they don't ever like to change it. Gnomes, whatever. Uh, see, this is still only half done and they've been planting for, what, four or five days solid and they're nowhere near complete. It's good practice for the farmers but there's a much more relevant task here of stuff that needs to be done. And unfortunately, uh, on my Dwarf Fortress, I can't uh, do something to say, hey, you're forbidden to walk over in this area. Please walk over here to try to encourage this particular task. I've already told the wheat farm that it's maximum priority, but what can you do? We have 42, or yeah, we have, we have 32 crops just sitting there. Wheat just waiting to be processed and no such luck. May as well request the other kitchen. And again, like I said, that required a table and so that's why we built that extra table. We'll build the kitchen right there. And yeah, so we've got some some food and drink production eventually. It looks like somebody is gonna eventually go over there and start making some some juice out of that. We finished this whole exploratory mine uh, layer and we were successful. We struck uh, looks like a good bit of copper and we did strike some coal. So I'm going to actually cancel at this point all of the all of the mining tasks. Oh, come on, mouse, where are you? There we are, okay. So we canceled all that so we can not worry about that. And we'll just designate all of that for claiming. And there's gonna be copper through this. And if I was wanting to babysit my miners, I'd sit there and click, click, and wait till they dig another one, and click immediately after, like this here. But I'm not going to do that. Honest, I'm not. Since the mining is taking a while. Mine, mine. So sometimes the menu options are a little small. But either way, we'll we'll loosen that up a little bit. And so, so next episode we will set up some metal industry, hopefully get our food going, because we've got all this wheat that needs to be turned into bread. 
that is being left because I prioritized a large apple production. You know what? Cancel. That's enough for now. They really, really need to get going on this. I want to see somebody at least acknowledge the fact that they're a farmer. And then we will call it an episode, I think. So I'm not really sure if building this wall gained me anything. Oh, look, it's, good. it's got grass over the top of it now. But it at least gives me... I kind of like the idea of just flooring over this whole area and turning it into some kind of semi-enclosed storage area. I think one of the other things we're going to do next time is set up a, a well here. We're not going to run out of drinks, probably. We have enough brewables that if people actually do that... Come on, you. What are you... What on earth are they doing? Oh, there we go. Finally. And see how fast it goes once somebody just shows up to actually do the work? It's ridiculous how fast they... Uh, they can do this task if they actually prioritize it. This is one of the reasons that I like getting my wheat farm in the ground as soon as possible, just because they don't like to farm it for some reason. So we'll get that set up, and the kitchen is going to be on auto bread production, and there's no reason not to have all the every single unit of wheat turn into bread. Uh, sausages are made out of meat and sandwiches are made out of bread plus meat and this is apparently the ultimate food in the game so far but uh, we don't have any baby yaks yet we're still down to two we still have all this milk that we're just leaving lying around nobody's hauling that into the food store because there's so many other hauling tasks that I guess they're doing yeah see they're going over here they're going and picking up all of those apples that we freed. Yeah, so so that whole apple thing early on was a little bit uh, overkill. And it's really kind of hosing my uh, productivity. So don't do that. It was a mistake of me. For me. I made a mistake. It wasn't good. All right. But anyways, somebody's finally... Oh, see, look, bread. How wonderful is that? And also apple juice. And... Yeah, so we've got food, we've struck copper, we've got a little bit of a wall, we're making bread, I'm going to bet that those two are ore as well. And yeah, so this is Alarian. thank you for watching, we'll see if uh, it can't be uh, a little bit uh, better next time. Bye-bye.